Alright folks, how you doing? WrestleTrueResults303.com Check out the website, link in the description box Social media, videos with the related, with the related topic Coming at you today with how to get the most out of your time at church Right? So I listened to a guy named Matthew Kelly He is a Catholic motivational speaker And this was something that he brought up in one of the talks I was listening to So I decided to share it on my video so he said sorry i think the camera's a little crooked so what he actually said was if i were to tell you that you were going to go and meet god in this place and he was going to tell you and instruct you what to do and where to go and how to live the best life for you would you go there and want to take notes and remember every single word that god was speaking to you so you knew the path that you, that you were supposed to take everyone of course said yes so he said, how many of you have a church journal? And all, you know, nobody raised their hand. So that's what he said, a church journal. Nothing too crazy. All he, all he suggested was write the date. And then from there, two to three sentences, you know, maybe even one of just what really connected with you either during the readings, what did your pastor or priest say? Two to three things. The only reason why two to three is because he said, you know, the human being, we're so complicated anyways. If you tried to write a whole page, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. So one to two sentences on what connected with you. Anything that the priest said, anything that you heard actually in the Bible, in the readings, that connected with you. And then just every once in a while, glance back at it through the week, see what you know, what that meaning is, kind of dwell on it a little bit more, all right? So next is going to be for Catholics. It can also be for Catholics that left the church. And I was actually having this discussion with my mother about the gift of confession and why people or young Catholics can't connect with the message that the church is trying to teach. I know a lot of people who say that. It, yeah, I just don't feel the connection when I'm there. So if you've left the church or maybe you went to a service and you haven't actually, or a mass, and you actually haven't felt that connection. And the, the brainstorming idea that my mother and I had when we were coming up with this, we started talking about confession. And it's weird how you can go to a lot of these larger parishes, like downtown, the big cathedrals, and the message there is very, very strong and very powerful in those homilies. And then we got on the topic of confession and it came up to, well, you got to think about it. I went, the first time I went to confession with my goddaughter, we went downtown to the cathedral and it took us an hour to an hour and 20 minutes to get into confession because the line was so long, right? The line was 20 people deep and we had to sit there and wait. Now, down at that large cathedral as well, they do a morning mass, they do an afternoon mass, they do a night mass. And they have confession every single day versus these smaller parishes where I live. My small parish only does it by appointment, I think, during the weekend. Or they only do it Saturday night before the, the anticipation mass. Right? So if you're like me, and I actually talked with the priest about this this past Sunday. I asked him, how many confessions? Well, let me rewind. Sorry. So now that these, these larger parishes are getting confessions all the time multiple people a day, hundreds if not thousands of people a month, they can actually design or create their homily to connect with their audience, right? Because they see so and hear so many confessions every day, every month, every week, right? Every year. So that's a gift. That's something that we, I feel uncomfortable when I step in there, but that's what we've got to realize. For me, I'm a younger person. If all the priest is hearing is confessions from 50, 60, and 70-year-old people, who is he going to try to relate his homily to? 50, 60, and 70-year-old people. That's why the younger generation is not connecting with these homilies and what the priest is trying to, you know, the message he's trying to get across through the scripture. We need to take into our own hands as the younger generation of going to confession to our, our own priest and not being afraid to tell him our problems. Right? He's going to give us advice at that moment, but now we are giving him all this, these topics and our troubles and the worries of our community, our young community, and he now 
can start to create and build these homilies that, that will touch us deeply in our heart and, and really help us grow spiritually, right? So now that I, so what I did this last week was I had talked with, with the priest before church about how many confessions does he hear a week or a month from our parish. And he said, to tell you the truth, it's the least that I have ever heard from a parish that I worked at the whole time I have been a priest. And he's been a priest for, I think, 15, 20 years. And our, our parish is not, is not a participating in confession, at least there. I know I'm not. I know my mother's not. We go to other places. My cousin's not. My goddaughter's not. So how is he going to be able to connect with us if we're not going to confession there, you know? So now that I've brought that up to him, the unfortunate thing is now I have to start going there. You know, and I told him it's because I feel uncomfortable, you know, doing it. And he was like, there's no need to. And there's not. There is no need to. But we have, if we want the message to be able to connect with us, we have to participate within our community, within our parish, and come to our priest, our, you know, our shepherd, one of our shepherds, and tell him our worries and our troubles so that he can help us better. That's how we are going to be able to connect with our church and not leave because we're saying we don't feel the connection, even though we do have those, those strong Catholic beliefs. All right, so there you go. I hope that gave you some food for thought. Journal one to two sentences every time you go to Mass or for any Christian, if you go to um, service or whatever they call yours. Um, strictly for Catholics, confession at your church giving your priests the ability to build the homily around the community so he can do and lead his sheep. All right? Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, and like the video.